for me, it's it's always been a battle to get credit or to you know to do to get anything right. But it doesn't matter anymore because you know I, I as long as I know what I'm doing, that's all that matters, right? Um, my name is Chris Tyrone Ross. I'm 35 years old and I'm originally from the Red Earth First Nation. Born and raised in Saskatoon, uh, Saskatchewan, uh, but grew up all over the province. Uh, and I've been residing in here in Regina since 2008 for the last seven, eight years. Well, the important part of why we named it Res X is also because during Treaty, when our ancestors signed treaty they didn't know how to read english they just signed it with an x so that's how we wanted to symbolize that treaty relationship and it continues on today with our relations that we have with our non-first nations clients we think that's part of practicing treaty today so that's how i look at a lot of business as well we're still practicing treaty and so res x eventually uh, went on to become a pretty big magazine but we've had our uh, our highs and lows Res X has roots going back as far as 1997 when I was 16 years old. I started my first newspaper in Fort Capel called Generation X and that went on for about four years. Uh, but I took a break in 2001 to focus on university, my first crack at it. And I was away from the publishing business for about three or four years and I really started to miss it. I really started to miss doing my own thing and I was 24 at this time and I was wanting to do something something similar to Gen X but with a different name uh, with a different focus um, so that's where Res X started we wanted to keep the X alive in there and that's what I wanted I didn't want to just uh, leave the publishing world again I wanted to find a way to keep our name out there so that's what we did over the next uh, four or five years we just did shows we did events concerts after parties 49s you know and like I wouldn't do I wouldn't do those kinds of things today, um, but that's our history. That's part of part of Res X, you know. That's what kept us alive in the early years. Uh, when I found out my uh, girlfriend of five years now, Tashina, was pregnant um, two years ago, uh, it was it was like a wake up call for me. And it sucks that you have to have kids to to have a wake up call, right? But for me at my age, you know, I, was, I felt this was a really good time, a good opportunity for me to get my act together, for me to really uh, focus, you know, you know I, I didn't want to go back to work in, you know, minimum wage jobs because I didn't have a university. And I remember one night I was, um, earlier in the year I had applied to, uh, into this young entrepreneurship camp to uh, raise capital or to win a, this competition. And it was like a year long competition. And I dropped out of it for personal reasons. So I'm working at this place as a porter. And what this event was for was for that entrepreneurship contest. You know? <laughs> and there was like people all dressed up. I remember seeing the people there that were there from the beginning, early in the year. You know, and that was just a, a, a real wake up call. That on top of, that was before I found out Dishina was pregnant. and. And I thought, okay, I really have to get my stuff together. I have to start, you know, I'm wasting time here. I'm killing time. So now this little company is more than just a magazine. It's not just a magazine that we're doing. It's, um, it's, it's all these different multimedia services. We're a young company and we have a lot of people that are working with us uh, and working for us under this. So it's not just a magazine now. It's, it's now it's a TV show and now it's becoming something even bigger. So now we're, we're getting ready for the next steps here, which is TV and film and really taking that to the next level. And it's exciting, but it also scares the heck out of me too. <laughs> I have a lot of, a really strong team, a good amount of people that are working with me that kind of believe in this dream and this vision. But the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out. And that goes for everything. It goes for relationships, it goes for school, um, you know, it goes for business, that goes for sports all of that right the people who work the hardest you know are the people that are going to move ahead further <laughs>